After a few awesome days of anchoring in Tarpon Basin, we headed out to Blackwater Sound, the first of a few large sounds we'd be crossing on our way to Key Biscayne. All right, we're in Blackwater Sound now. Actually had some wind to sail and turn the motor off. So we're gonna sail across Blackwater Sound over towards US-1 there. That's where US-1 goes from the mainland. The wind was from almost directly behind us. Perfect conditions to just throw up the head sail and not even have to mess with the mainsail. It was awesome to move by sail alone and have the motor off. Since our last few transits, the best we could do was motor sail. Blackwater Sound followed by Barnes Sound and then Card Sound are three large open bodies of water formed from the southern tip of Florida on one side and the Keys on the other side. That was a nice sail. Now we're heading under US-1 here. Mainland, Keys. We motored underneath US-1, ready to get to the next open body of water and put our sails back up. Now we've made it into Barnes Sound and uh, turned off the motor again. We're gonna sail across it and we're gonna try to anchor in the northwest corner up there. There's a restaurant called Alabama Jack's that's supposed to be pretty cool that we're gonna go try out. So protected from the northwest winds that are supposed to pipe up tomorrow afternoon. So if we like it, we'll stay there. This is real pretty through here. In light winds, we just ghosted across Barnes Sound, relaxed and in no hurry. Anchors down here at Narrow Point. Looks like a good anchorage. I think the restaurants are back over there. Our friend Bob on Kristanaki is sailing across here somewhere. I don't see his sail now, but he's coming over here to join us. Bob is a single-handed sailor. We watched him sail into the anchorage, drop his sails, and put down his anchor without ever turning his motor on, all by himself. I dingied over to say hello. So, we're gonna go grab Bob in a second here and uh, head over through the mangroves to Alabama Jacks. Step aboard your tender, ma'am. Hey, Bob! That's right. headed into Alabama Jacks, a place I'd always heard of but never been to. Out in the middle of nowhere. Not many people would actually ever drive by it. We had a blast and headed back out to Bob's boat. We're watching the sunset here on Kristanaki. We were planning to stay here at Anchor for a few days with nothing more to do than hang out on the boat or head into Alabama Jacks. It was a beautiful sunset and then the next morning we watched an equally beautiful sunrise. And today, our friends John and Michelle are going to come over to Alabama Jacks and pick us up, and we're going to go check out North Key Largo. So that should be cool. All right, we've made it up to Alabama Jacks. And John and Michelle are here. John and Michelle are friends we made in Marathon this year. We wanted to come check out Alabama Jacks and the surrounding areas. So our driving tour of the Card Sound Road with John and Michelle has a lot of uh, views like this. Lots of trees and power lines, but we did see Homestead. It was scary. Time for some more Alabama Jacks. <laughs> Alabama Jacks, twice in one day with John and Michelle. It just doesn't get any better than that. Later that evening, under a gorgeous setting sun, it was grilling time on holiday for Zach and Lindy. I was early in the crazy ways My folks 
said it's just a phase They were hoping for better days Now in my line of work I seem to see a lot more than most Write them down and pass them around It's the gospel from the coast Reflections not just replays Taking time to escape the maze This Anchorage was seriously awesome. The weather was perfect, we were the only ones around, and through the mangroves was a great restaurant that we could get to whenever we wanted to get off the boat. The pork chops were smelling great, and it was about time to chow down. Looking for better days. Looking to the left. Looking to the right. Looking to the stars to shed some light Hoping for a breath Hoping for a break Hoping for the gift without the take Dreamers line the same road Just to watch the runway show Slash behind their steering wheels, they just watch the big jets go. Streaking through the morning haze, focal point of a distant gaze. Looking for better days. After a few wonderful days, it was time to pull up the anchor for a short trip across Card Sound to anchor for a night at Long Arsenicker Key and stage for a crossing of Key Biscayne the next day. This is Long Arsenicker Key. That's Biscayne Bay. So we're right at the southern end of Biscayne Bay. So tomorrow we'll be leaving the Keys. All right, we're gonna go check out Long Arsenicker Key. The scenery around Long Arsenicker was beautiful and the water was crystal clear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a barracuda there. We've discovered a cormorant roost. If this was smell -o vision you'd know it too. So we've had a lazy afternoon on our last evening in the Keys. And now Lindy is making some food here. What are you making, babe? Creamy Parmesan garlic mushroom chicken. Mmm. What kind of pasta is it going with? Uh, rigatoni. Oh my goodness. With chicken thighs? With chicken thighs. It smells yummy. We got the laptop set up. We're going to watch some movies tonight and just uh, chill out. Should be fun. Our last meal in the Keys after about two and a half months was as delicious as it looks. We ate, rested up, then prepared for our crossing of Biscayne Bay. Alright, we're about to head towards Biscayne Bay. This was a wonderful anchorage. We motored toward the bay on a beautiful morning with the rising sun. Winds were brisk, but from the right angle for some close hauled sailing. With just a reefed headsail, we were flying across Biscayne Bay about as fast as holiday can go. Our third passage recently with the motor off.
sat back with hours of sailing ahead of us. Before long, the winds picked up a little more, so we reefed in the headsail a bit and continued to fly across Biscayne Bay. Lots of boats out sailing today. Getting closer to Miami up there. Keep us Looking for Florida. Soon Miami was growing larger on the horizon and it was time for us to head into the anchorage we had read about, No Name Harbor. It was a Saturday so we were a little worried about how crowded it would be in this heavily populated area. Yeah, no, a little too tight in here. <laughs> Let's try the other. Too crowded in a small area for our tastes, we decided to head outside and check out Biscayne Bay. All right, this looks like where the party at. We're gonna come anchor right over here. Bienvenidos a Miami. Biscayne Bay appeared to be the place everybody in Miami goes to hang out on the weekends on the sandbar. There was also a great view of the Miami skyline. This looked like a nice place to spend the evening and watch the craziness unfold. <laughs> well, we probably wasn't the best decision to uh, come here on Saturday. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. We're going to do Miami. Do it on a weekend. That's like, right. That's what I always say. <laughs> Welcome to Miami. After some awesome sailing through the Keys over the last week and a great sail across Biscayne Bay, we relaxed at anchor and watched as more and more boats arrived to this beautiful place to enjoy the weekend fun. We were now transitioning from what was our winter in the Keys to our new adventure of heading up the east coast on the intercoastal waterway for the summer months. Mm -hmm. 